All right, so we've got PayPal ready to go. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to actually sell your courses for one-time fee or recurring subscriptions. So what you can do is go to your courses, and if you scroll down, you can see here right below the main WordPress editor that we can add a SKU number if we want. And we can set a regular price of, let's say, $100. And if we wanted to, you know, launch and put it on sale for $80, we could, you know, set a sale date from tomorrow through you know, the following week. That's how you can quickly and easily set up a sale. I'm actually gonna not use the sale in this demo, but just showing you how that works. And we'll show you recurring payments in a little bit, but that is all there is to assigning a price to your course. Now I'm gonna show you the user experience on the front end. I'm logged in as a user Jeffrey Lebowski and I'm on my courses page and you can see that I don't have any courses here, no activity here on my courses. So if we jump over to courses, you can see now there's a price here for a single payment of $100. So if I view course, I can see the course and the short description. And if I wanna take this course, I'm now redirected to the purchase page. So you can see I can do a single payment of $100. And I can pay with PayPal. And if I hit buy now, it's going to redirect me over to PayPal. So I actually have a test PayPal account set up with some credit on it. and. This is that buyer's information. And I'm going to log into PayPal. And you can see here it is my PayPal balance that I'm about to pay for. Click continue. And you see you can see that it redirects me back to the site. This is one of the great things about the way we built the PayPal integration with those API keys. It, it feels like a little bit of an extra work in the beginning, but look how clean that experience is. So I confirm my purchase. And now I have access to this course. And that's how you set up PayPal for a one-time payment on a course. But now let's take a look at recurring payments. So if we go to our courses and go to our sample course, and in the payment options, Instead of doing the single pay option, we're gonna enable recurring payments. So let's do a subscription price of $20 a month with an initial payment of $20 at purchase. And we wanna bill every month. And let's say we're gonna do six payments. Uh, if we left this as a zero, it would just keep going indefinitely. And then the frequency means every one month. So if you wanted to bill $20 every two months for six payments, you would put a number two here. So that's what billing frequency is. So I'm gonna hit update. So now let's take a look at the front end and look at the user experience of somebody purchasing our course with the recurrent payment option. So we click on view course, take this course, 
And so we're going to show you how to do this as if this is a brand new person never registered on the site before so they can't log in. They need to register. So we'll do just a email address here. And a password. And that takes us to the purchase page. So we're going to buy this course at $20 per month for six months. Buy now. So that's going to redirect us to PayPal. And if you look closely here, you can see that our course is here. And this payment right now is for $20. And so we're just going to log into our PayPal account. Agree and continue. And you'll see here, we're back on our confirm purchase page on our learning management system site. Confirm purchase. And now we have access to our course.